garbage pressure out of the nickel 416 package in the Carolina Panthers defensive playbook. And the play that we're going to be looking at for our base man coverage is going to be none other than the sugar blitz out of the nickel 416. And uh, why we like the Sugar Blitz so much and why we like it especially for this um, type of a situation that we're going to be facing here is the ease at which we can set up pressure. It's very simple. So you just want to go in. You want to find your Sugar Blitz. And you're gonna setup's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to base a line and press coverage. And then what we're going to do, it's pretty simple from there. We're going to globally zone our linebacker on the left side of the screen. We're going to quarterback spy both defensive linemen on the left side of the screen. We're going to re-blitz the right of screen defensive end. And then we're free to make adjustments. I often will take Carter here and move him to the middle of the field. Because now we have created balance. Four guys on the left. Three guys on the right, and now a user player on the right. So something like this, and now we're going to throw a man at him. Remember to call that disguise cushion coverage, and you see you're going to get right edge pressure. Now, why is this so good? Well, you're only sending five guys at the quarterback against five linemen, and you don't have to quarterback spy these guys. I like to do it so it takes away drags and underneath reads, um, and then you just use the right. But it's just uh, it's a really good pressure. It's actually really fast, especially with some depth chart setups we can do. Uh, this is really simple to run. Now, if you wanted to send it from the left, baseline press, you're going to click onto Woodyard here. You're going to move him out as far as you can take him. Click off, and he's going to reset into there. Quarterback spy, both guys on the right side now. Zone off more. And I think that we're going to get the B gap. Actually, we don't get B gap. Um... So you may not be able to actually send it off the left out of the sugar blitz. I know you can send it out of our zone look. So just know that. And also what you could do if, if you wanted to is you could just re-blitz Woodyard. He's going to come off the line. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to just hold him there with your user control. So I'll, you would just, uh, as we mentioned in our top five tips to improve in defense, um, hold L2 and R2 at the same time. And now when he snaps the ball... You're just going to sit there, and now you're going to get that left edge pressure. So you can do that if you really wanted a man look out of your left edge pressure, or you could do um, something like this where you just baseline press, globally zone the linebacker, zone more off, and then take Cromartie down here, blitz him straight down, re-blitz Ayers, and now you can do your stuff on the right side, and now you're going to see the pressure come in. So... Two different ways to do it. In my opinion, I don't use either. I just use the pressure out of the zone blitz. But it can be done off the right edge. But it, I mainly want you to focus today on the, the pressure from the left, sending or sending it from the right. And then in the zone look, we're going to send it from the left. So they combine, it, com, they combine with each other perfectly to do what we want to do. And we can also send two-way pressure out of the zone look. And if we want to send it out of the man look, then we're just going to take Cromartie straight down here, re-blitz him, re-blitz Ayers. And then what we would need to do is man up Carter on this slot. And now you're going to see you're going to send six guys and get two free. So two different pressures for you guys today. Sugar Blitz is your man blitz. If you want to just run it stock and don't want to do anything to it, it will come in because there's six guys blitzing. But it doesn't use the, the core techniques at which we want to use this year. So be sure to add this Sugar Blitz to your arsenal so you have pressure from a man look out of the nickel 416 package in the Carolina playbook. If you have any further questions or need further explanation, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you guys need anything else Madden 25 related, you know where my email is. It's in the description. Or you can hit me up on Twitter. And if you guys would do me a huge favor and just share this video on your Twitter page so that other people can um, get an opportunity to see these blitzes out of the nickel 416, then I would really greatly appreciate it, and thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a tremendous day.